Hey everybody, welcome back to another baseball card video. Today we are going to a card show. We're at Westmoreland Mall in Greensburg, Pennsylvania. And the boys, Robbie and Timmy, are going to face off. I gave them both $40, and we're going to see who can find the best deals for $40. At the end of the video, I'll show you everything that all three of us picked up, and then you can determine who picked up the best cards by voting in the community tab. So first, let's find out what they're looking for. All right, so this is Timmy. Hi. Timmy, can you tell everybody what you're looking for today? Anything in, in specific? Um, Favorite players? Uh, Fernando Tatis. Fernando Tatis Jr. All right, and here we have Robbie. Robbie, anyone in specific you're looking for? Uh, no. Not just, really? Just, just good cards. Just good cards. All right, so this was yesterday's card show at Westville Mall. It's a three-day card show with 60 tables. We showed you yesterday a little bit of footage when I picked up all of the remaining grab bags and found the chase card of the Aussie Smith rookie card. So we got some footage of the boys looking through some cards here. We started out at the second level because yesterday when I went, I didn't have enough time to get to the second le level. There were so many different tables there and things to look at. So... We went around the second level first. I was able to find some good stuff there. Altogether, I spent about $150 worth on baseball cards today. And I'll show you everything that I bought at the end of this video. The boys spent $40 a piece. Here you can see Robbie looking through some different cards. I actually bought some Frank Thomas cards there. And then when I got home, I was like, wait a minute. There's a problem with these cards. We'll show you that at the end of this video. Here's Robbie buying a purchase. He was very, very secretive about what he was buying. He didn't want me to see what he was grabbing because he wanted it to be a surprise. This particular table had a whole bunch of different cards, all different prices from about a quarter all the way up to a couple dollars in those boxes. Lots of variety there. And here's Timmy looking through a box, looking for some singles. He's looking for a Tatis Junior rookie card. We'll have to stay tuned and see if he found one. Got another seller coming up here. You're gonna see me buying some cards at this table. Bought a, what have I bought? I think I bought a Soto rookie here of Wander Franco for really good prices. Uh, the seller there watches the YouTube channel. Shout out to him. Uh, had a great selection of stuff and a really nice, uh, really discounted box that he was selling for his buddy. Really cool of him to do that. Here's Timmy looking at all the different things, just so many different tables. Pretty much, if you like baseball cards, a card show you can find something for everybody all types of collectors you got vintage you've got rookie cards you've got some sealed wax you've got autographs you've got relics they've got it all here's timmy buying a bag of some stuff tell him about the little challenge that we have going on uh, with, between him and his brother they really took it seriously they both really want to win um and we'll talk about what their prize will be at the end of this video here i am picking up some stuff and uh now we'll give you a little scene without a voiceover Back side of the mall, where the where the movie theater is, out of the mall, outside out of the mall. mall. Okay, okay, thanks. That one. Okay. Yeah. Is that real? Oh, uh, it's a reprint, actually. I wish it was real. Yeah. All right, Timmy. So you spent all forty dollars. How confident are you feeling? Very, very confident. Did you get some good deals today? Yes, definitely. Alright, we're gonna take him home and show you what he's got. This is this is his haul. And then Robbie's finishing up. He's got six dollars left. <laughs> Looking at those relics. Time's up though, because we gotta go to Olivia's basketball game. Alright everybody, we're back from the card show. We've got three halls to show you today. Uh, we have my haul, which you see on the screen right here. I spent, I think it was about $150. And I was just looking over some of the cards, and I, I thought I got some good deals. And I thought I got ripped off on a couple as well. I'm kind of upset on a couple of these cards. So we'll do my haul first, about $150. Then we have Robbie's haul. He had a $40 budget. And then we'll do Timmy's haul. He had a $40 budget as well. And then just we thought it would be kind of fun to see what kids would buy or spend their money on if they were given some money um so they each had a 40 dollar budget to work with and we'll let you choose who won and we're not going to do it in the comment section i think that's going to be too hard for me just to scroll through and see who won so how about i post a poll you could go with robbie's cards or timmy's cards all you gotta do is click which one you thought got the best bang 
for their bucks. So we'll start with mine, $150 approximately. Here's what I picked up. There was uh, some Brian Reynolds rookie cards on a table. I grabbed both of them. The, the sellers are actually knew me they said uh they actually were from my my town and everything and they watched my channel and everything really cool guys so I, I had to grab both of these 50 cents a piece for a brian reynolds rookie card he finished seventh in the mvp voting no one even really cares about brian reynolds unless you're in pittsburgh just because he plays for the pirates and doesn't get any kind of national recognition next we have an aaron judge rookie debut card these were all these cards were around i don't know on average about five to ten dollars depending on what it was so 2017 Aaron Judge rookie card. I also picked up the Topps Chrome second year card. This is the X-Fractor card. I thought, thought that was a nice one. Had to grab that one. Lou Brock for $4. Now I looked at this one. It looked pretty good to me. Um, if the card show, the, the lighting wasn't that great. I'll tell you what, depending on where I was, like if you're in the center of the card show, you can, the, the, the lights there are pretty good. But... Um, some of these cards you'll see I had a little bit of an issue with. We got a, an Ozzy Smith for a buck, 1982. Frank Thomas, this was his rookie card. I'll put the Frank aside for a second. I paid on average about like four or five bucks for the Franks. A Chipper Jones rookie for $6. Another Aaron Judge for eight bucks. We've got another Aaron Judge rookie for $6. Another Aaron Judge rookie for $5. There was some vintage stuff there, so I grabbed some older stuff. A Ryan Sandberg and Tony Gwynn, two dollars a piece. Wander Franco for a buck, twenty twenty Bowman. I thought these were crazy good prices. Austin Riley rookie cards for a dollar a piece. A Will Smith rookie for a dollar. An Alo Jimenez rookie for a dollar. Zach McKinstry. I know you Dodgers fans like him. His auto for five bucks. I got Matt Strom from Strom Stadium Pools. It's his purple parallel rookie auto for only three dollars. I figured, why not? I'll grab it. A Juan Soto rookie card and a Wander Franco as well to boot. That is from draft. That is from 2020. So I like my Wanders, and I'm grabbing them when I see them. Another Frank Thomas rookie card. A couple of his. Actually, bought a bunch of Franks. Bo Jackson. That is uh, the 1990 scorecard. I had to buy that one. I was looking for that card from that 1990 score box, but wasn't able to find it. Nolan Ryan's. From um, 84 Donruss and 82 Tops, and a Vlad Jr. rookie card as well from 2019 update. Most of these cards again were like uh, around five dollars. So there's a Tatis, that's a 2018 Prospect Bowman card, which is, I thought that was a pretty good price. Another Vladdy rookie card. These are my higher end deals. I got a Joe Adele rookie black autograph out of 199 for 50 bucks. And I picked up a slab of Roger Clemens. It's his rookie card. It's a PSA 7. That was 25 Now, these were, this is, uh, I mean, these were $5 a piece or so. Now, looking at them, I thought they looked pretty good. I was just like, oh, yeah, 5 bucks, 5 bucks. I'll grab that. But upon further review, when, uh, when, I take, when, I took, when I took it home and looked at it, that looks good, right? Well, look at this. I can only see it in a certain light. There is a crease right there. I was mad about that. There's a freaking crease on the card. You can't see it because the lighting at the card show is not great. I mean, it's it's a mall. So I missed that one. And honestly, all these cards had little issues just like that. Like, for example, if I take a look at uh, these Frank Thomas cards, like the uh, 1990 Tops, which I was pretty stoked about. It's like, oh, 1990 Tops for like five bucks or so. That's a pretty good price. But then take a look. There's a little tiny little crease there too. Can you see it? Just ever so slightly right there. And uh, so whenever you're looking at cards, I don't, I don't know if you want to carry around like a big old spotlight with you. But you definitely need to, um, especially vintage, especially should be looked at. This card, someone stepped on the card. Look, there's a crease right there and a crease right there, a bend right there. So I don't know. I was kind of bummed out about that. All the cards had little hidden creases. So always check your cards, especially the older stuff, to make sure that it's in tip-top shape. Because a lot of times... In kind of lower light situations, you might miss little creases like that. Like just looking at that in a stack real quick, it looks good to me, but just be careful with that kind of stuff. All right, so now we're going to, that was my haul. You can let me know how you think I did and what my best card was. I think the Joe Adele was the best one for me. So now we're going to go through Robbie and Timmy's cards. These were 40 bucks. We're gonna start with Robbie's. I'm gonna go through, I don't know what he bought. 
He was very secretive. He didn't want me to see anything. I wasn't allowed to see anything he picked up. So let's see how he did. And then we'll bring Timmy in as well. So for 40 bucks, all right, you've got, all right. So you went with uh, kind of some, uh, not a lot of singles here in a box. So you got an Ichiro short print. It was a $4 card. This is a 1965 Topps design. At least it looks like it, even the upper deck is uh, kind of like ripping that, ripping that design off. There's the back of the card, 2003. So it's an early Ichiro card. It's um, basically a third year card. It's a short print as well. Why did you choose this card? I just thought it was an Ichiro one. Nice Ichiro one, so you decided to go with this one. Next we have a Heston Kerstad for $2 Futurist card. You do know he's the number two overall pick in the draft a couple years ago. Any reason why you picked this one? Wait, was this a freebie? Free, yeah. You got this one for free? All right, that's a pretty good freebie. That counts. I mean, if you can work your magic, you know, drop that, that what would we call that, Heather? Like a cuteness factor. Oh, nice. Luis Robert, game used. Did you pay full price for this or did you talk them down? Uh, I paid full price. $15. That still seems to be a pretty decent price to me. A lot of times whenever I go to card shows, I'll say, would you take 10 for that? And like 80% of the time, they'll say yes or they'll come back and be like 12. And usually they, they like to deal in like multiples of five because they don't always have a lot of ones. So they may have taken 10 for it. But these are really cool. This is from Bowman Chrome. He actually wore this in a game. Luis Robert game used jersey. And it's numbered out of 99. That's a good pickup. That's my favorite pickup you had so far. Now these two, you were up against the clock. I saw that you picked up these. You got that in the nick of time. Yeah, we were there. We were running out of time because we had to go to Olivia's basketball game. So you got this one for a dollar. Carpenter Jr. 90 Don Russ All Star card, and you also grabbed a Clayton Kershaw. It has it was in a half price box. You paid five bucks for this. I saw you buy this one. Clayton Kershaw. It's numbered as well out of 150. So you went for some numbered cards, and then you bought a box of Opening Day, a hanger box. What did you pay for this? I paid fifteen. Fifteen dollars for this. I hate to say it, but that was an overpay. I think these I think these sell in the store. Help me out in the comments for about five dollars in the store. Yeah. You can get a whole blaster box of these for ten bucks. So whoever sold you that one, they uh they jacked the price on you a little bit. Do you want me to open this or do you want to keep it sealed? Uh okay. Alright, we'll open this up. Fifteen dollars for this box. Yeah, you gotta watch opening days usually a lot less. They're, they're usually half price of what, like a hanger box is about five bucks. And um, all right, so opening day typically is it's supposed to be for kids. It's supposed to, like you're the you're the intended audience for this. Robbie's a ten year old kid, loves playing baseball. He's a starting catcher on his team, also a pitcher. How fast do you throw? Uh, 52. There's fifty. To 53 miles an hour, which is pretty freaking fast for a 10 year old. What was your batting average two years ago? 800. Like 7 to 800. So, possible future major leader here. And this is what he picked up some opening day. Maybe one day we'll see you on one of these cards. But opening day, one of the things that's, things that's bad about it is there's not a good chance of finding a hit, which is an autograph. There's a nice Boba Shed. You'll get some nice cards. But the super valuable cards are probably not going to be in here. That's why they're usually $5 um, at the store, like if you would have gone to Walmart. I would say the best card that you got, in my opinion, is definitely the Luis Robert. I don't know what that goes for. I'll have to look that up for you. Um, but so far, no hits in this. Trey Turner's the last one. So that's Robbie's haul, folks. You can let him know how he did in the comment section. You can vote for him in the um, vote that we'll put up soon on the uh, community page. Next, we're gonna bring in Timmy, who looks like he has two bags of stuff. All right, so here's everything he picked up. Go ahead and put it on the screen for me. All right, let's see what we got here. Now, I do know some of the things that you bought because you're nearby. You actually took a car that I was gonna buy and took it for yourself. And so first we have the Fernando Tatis Jr. I saw both of these and he asked if he could buy one. I was like, yeah, you can get one of these. 
Five bucks. I think that's a great price on that one. I like that card a lot. What else did you buy? All right, so you bought a pack. Now, I heard you tell me about this. It, it's uh, from the Griffey pack. Yeah. It's from the same guy that I bought all of those uh, power packs from yesterday. There was like 28 packs. I bought them all, and I got an Aussie Smith. He had these Griffey packs. Where I, it was Well, Heather, do you remember? Was it one Griffey per pack? or One or two Griffeys per pack, which is pretty awesome. What did you pay for this? Um, five dollars for this now this is the car that i found and i was excited about it and then you're like wait can i buy that one and i was like all right it is a very beautiful hank Aaron card now you just snatched it up for me so i do notice there's one little issue with this card huh. you see what what the problem was uh -oh, what, no what, what's the problem with this card why was it three dollars it's it's a fake it's not a fake it's real do you see the problem with it I'll give you a hint. Do, do you see the problem at home? Like, why would this card be $3 and not, like, $30 or more? I'll tell you what. Some little kid drew on the card. You see that? Oh, you should see his face right now, folks. His eyes just got real big and angry. He's he's mad. Lee May, somebody drew. You see that? He got a unibrow. Yeah, somebody gave him a little unibrow there. But it's still a Hank Aaron original card. Mm -hmm. Also, there's a little surface issue right there. You got to always look for stuff like that in vintage. Like whenever I auction cards, I always like try to go like this on the, on the light before anyone puts a bin on it because we look for stuff like that. So is it? it might, it's probably worth a little more than $3, but it's not like a $30 or $100 card like we would have hoped. It's still an awesome card. So that one's pretty cool. Then you picked up Brent Rooker. And then I saw you grabbing the relics, and I was like, uh, Brent Rooker, should I tell him? Why did you pick Brent Rooker? Uh, you told me he was good. I didn't tell you he was good. <laughs> I know I didn't. I did not tell you Brent Rooker was good. I, yeah. <laughs> folks, I did not tell him that. There was uh, there was somebody else that I said was good. Raphael Devers was there. That's the, the, the one I said was good. You must have thought I said, said Brent Rooker. Because I saw you looking through your relics, and I was like, oh, yeah, he's good. I, I wanted you to get the... Uh, or, or consider the Raphael Devers right behind him. So Brent Rooker, I mean, he, obviously he's good because he plays in the major leagues, but uh, his cards aren't really worth all that much right now. So next you got the Fernando Tatis Jr. from Optic. How much did you pay for this? This was a freebie, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, this was a freebie. So you got these, and your big purchase was this. So, how much did you pay for this? $25. That's actually a good buy because these in store are $27.50. In Walmart, I want to say they're $27.50. So, you actually got this for less than retail. And there's two guaranteed hits in there. Do you want to open this up now or keep it sealed? Um, open. Do you want me to open it or do you, do you want to open it? Um, I think you got the, the, um, the lucky hand touch. I got the lucky hand touch. All right, I'll do it for you. I'll tell you if you get anything good, too. There's only one pack of cards in here. You know that? One little pack. Now, the box got a little crunched in the car. He was awful worried about that, but I told him it would be fine because the pack's right in the middle. See how the pack's right there? Yep. So all the crunch that happened, not, no cards got affected by that. Mm -hmm. All right, so here's the pack. Henry Davis, he's actually on the Pirates. He was our number one overall pick. And uh, if you can get his autograph, that'll be quite valuable. Let's see what we've got. So there's a Cade Povich. It's numbered out of $9.99. A lot of these cards are numbered. You got Elian, Elian Corto Real. This is a Dominican Prospect League player. There's probably not a lot of value to him. I don't think anyone knows who he is. I don't know who he is. Next, we have a Dustin Signs, Elite Extradition. Dustin Signs, Washington Nationals. I don't know too much about him either. He wasn't their number one pick because the Washington pick was Brady House. Uh, Dustin Signs. Cooper Kinney out of 100. And we've got Gavin Williams as the last one there. So not a crazy pack. But you got this other one. This is your last card you got. So you spent 25 on that. You spent um, 5 on this. It takes you to 30. You spent 10 on this. 40 bucks. This is your Griffey pack. You want to open it or you want me to open it? Uh... Yeah. All right. So there's one or two Griffies in each pack. Let's see what we've got. There's a Victor Mesa Jr. card. There's your Griffey. That is a Topps Heritage Chrome card. And 
has a ten dollar price tag on the back Ooh. now i don't know if that card still goes for ten dollars it is numbered out of 1961 so it's definitely worth something um it might be worth 10 bucks because people love griffies even base griffies can go for a few dollars there's a jose canseco rookie card 1987 don ross so that's a good one as well it's a leaf actually you got a numbered these are pretty good i might have to go back there tomorrow and buy all of these these were five dollars a piece um yeah and uh i think i may have seen that uh i may have seen them uh get a little cheaper i, I like the numbered stuff there's a roy holiday there's a another roy holiday there's an Yvonne Rodriguez. There's a Dallas Keuchel for a dollar. It has a dollar price tag on it. Kyle Seeger. And the, oh, look at this. The Ken Griffey Jr. rookie cards in there as well. Ken Griffey Jr. 89 Don Russ rookie card with a $20 price tag on it. So you hit one of the chasers. It did say there was Griffey rookies seated throughout. And another one. Huh? What? There's a lot more than a couple in there. Very nice. So you got the rated rookie, Ken Griffey Jr., the 93 select. You got the a cut above card as well. Johnny Damon, Todd Helton, Ozzy Smith, 88 score. Matt Carpenter and Tyler Glass now is the last one right there. So that is a, a juiced pack for you. Definitely a nice one for sure with all that stuff. Um, man, pretty good haul right there. But, you know, you have the Hank Aaron card does have an issue with it. You did buy a Brent Rooker. Uh, Robbie had the Luis Roberts, so I don't know. This is tough. I think it's really close because I love that Luis Roberts. Let me see who the favorite card is that you bought was. I do love that Griffey that you got in that Griffey pack. Oh, man. I think, you know what? My favorite card that you bought, even though it's damaged, is probably either one of these two. I, I'm, I'm probably going to go with this one. It's my favorite card that you bought, even though it's some kid wrote on it i don't know folks it's it's pretty close 50 50 so robbie who grabbed the uh the opening day box along with the Luis robert relic or timmy who grabbed the elite extradition along with the hank aaron and the other stuff we're gonna let you guys vote and see who ends up winning and we'll give an extra bonus to whoever ends up winning we'll have to think of a prize for you guys i'll give you guys a who's your favorite player um Okay, so Timmy loves Fernando Tatis Jr. So, and who's your favorite player? Uh, Aaron Judge. And Robbie loves Aaron Judge. So we'll put, and he just dropped his phone. So we'll put a rookie card on the line for Aaron Judge and Fernando Tatis Jr. Whoever wins this poll, if you win, Timmy, I'll give you a Tatis rookie. Robbie, if you win, I'll give you a Judge rookie. All right, so that's a little extra bonus for you. All right, folks, so you can check the community page and, uh, vote for them thank you very much for watching this card show video we've got more videos coming up as always tomorrow's the mystery box monday i hope you can join us for that hope you give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and we'll see you all later good night everybody